Okay guys, it's Sunday the 2nd of September. So we're finally out of August and we had a few pretty low volatility days, especially on the FTSE. So hopefully now the markets start to once again um, pick back up. So in this video, we're going to go over, as always, the FTSE 100, the Forex pair Euro USD, and then the US index, the NASDAQ, in terms of day trading for the week ahead. And what I always go over is that this video, um, it's not really aimed at beginners, it's mainly aimed at my zone trader students, but if you are a day trader, and if you are trading these markets, hopefully the analysis can help you out. If you are a beginner and you don't really understand what I'm going over, well, first of all, if you're a complete beginner, um, complete newbie to trading, there is the free introduction to trading course, which is linked below this video. Um, and then if you're looking to start learning more technical aspects, um, but you're still not really keeping up with what we're going over in the video, there is the free decisive package, which again is linked below this video. Okay, so starting on the FTSE 100, everything's marked up as always from the previous video. Um, we had... Very key resistance, very key resistance with the two blue arrows, um, 610 to 630, 643 to 656. Um, basically, start of the week, we just pushed up, tested, huge rejection came in. Now we found support at our uh, 547 to 533 level, had a bounce, and we had another very strong move down, another relatively strong bounce from our very key 480 to 512 zone with the two blue arrows. So what we went over was it's very key support, it remains very key support, but if we break down below, it's also very key resistance. And then what we've seen is the market making another very strong move down, around about 60 um, points. Now with subscribers, well, first of all, we had our very key levels down here, which we're gonna be looking at in a minute. And all I went over with subscribers last week was if we started breaking down below here, yeah, it's very likely we're coming down to around about 640. to 621, which was right here. Basically using the previous swing as our clue. Um, and the market broke down sort of the latter half of the day on Friday. And then we had that very strong press down into that key level um, underneath. So what we're gonna do is just get rid of these blue arrows first of all. And then we will look at the zones and we'll look at what the market is telling us for the trading week ahead. Now we have had a nice bounce off of this level. Um, very, very strong move down. So we've had a very strong wave down, a pullback, a very strong wave down. Um, it's looking to me like we are now breaking below this area right here. Um, if that is the case, um, expectations really on the FTSE are to start turning more bearish. Um, or holding bearish until we start getting down to these levels. Yeah, um, these are the next very key levels of support. So for next week, certainly pullbacks into this whole area, 512 to 480, more than worthwhile watching as resistance. Um, what I would say is after we've had a bit of a bounce here, it is likely we'll see some sort of a pullback, um, potentially up into that round number 7500. And before we see another huge move or any other large move of selling. This is a nice key level of support. I've already had a nice strong bounce on the way down again. Yeah, it remains a good level. 440 um, to 421. Underneath there, this level again becomes good resistance. And we'd start to look for stronger moves down on the FTSE. Um, and really what I would say is below there would be, we've got a nice spike up here, but we'd really be starting to look at the lower portion of the swing and this nice big gap on the daily time frame. So around about 380 to 350. Got a more minor level of support sitting around about these levels. I'm not really gonna use it as a zone. It's pretty much the 400 number. If we're getting down below this level though, I'd be happy to start looking for resistance and those potential stronger moves down into 380 to 350, which is when we would really start to get into key support. Um, and then down below there, we're gonna be testing out these swings, which again, um, are gonna be levels of potentially key support. But for next week, pullbacks, you know, this is a nice solid level of support at present. It's a nice swing point 
on a very strong move up where we weren't really leaving many swing points. Um, so yeah, it's worth our watching as, or continue to watch as potential support. If we start to press up though, it's, you know, once again, we're looking for resistance. Now on the way down last week, we weren't really looking at this as key at three, uh, 548 to 533, but if we do see us pressing up, now that we've made such a strong move down, then yeah, certainly. Um, resistance, resistance, and also 572 to 588. Again, very nice resistance. So quick recap on the FTSE. Looks like we are, we haven't confirmed it, but it looks like we are trying to break down below this level. Huge potential, double top, with a last bounce, a last bullish attempt to press this market higher, which looks to be failing. Um, if we're accepting below here, then moving forward, doesn't mean that the market's just gonna collapse. Um, but moving forward, it would be looking like the FTSE would be starting to turn more bearish, um, certainly sort of medium term um, over the next maybe uh, month, two months. Um, so at present, preference is if we're pull, uh, making pullbacks, looking for the resistance at these levels, this is key support, 440 to 420, previous swing point. If we're failing here, then I'd start to be looking for the move down to 380 to 350. Um, okay, guys, so now let's move on to the Forex pair Euro USD. Okay, so once again, we've got the chart up from last week's Sunday analysis video. What we went over was how this zone here at 116.50 to 116 was a key level. Um, above it, we're looking for support, below it, we're looking for resistance. Um, now we had the strong move up pretty much straight away. We came into our very key level of resistance, which was a likely move if we started breaking up from this one, um, 117.05 to 117.50. If we go up here, we're looking for resistance. Market comes up, it tests, instant rejection coming in. Um, now what you can actually see is the, the first wave of rejection came all the way down to test again at our key support and resistance level. Oh, sorry. Um, support level and then resistance level. It comes down, it tests the support, you get another bounce, it comes up to where? Our 116.75, 116.92 level and then the rejection comes back in. Yeah, um, a lot of the time when you're looking at markets, you don't need to overcomplicate things. Uh, we've got our levels coming into the trading week and you have to obviously have a trading plan, you have to implement your trading plan and day to day you have to be making adjustments but you don't have to overcomplicate things. You don't need to be looking for crazy patterns. You don't need to be having 15 indicators on your charts. You know, you've got your key levels. Um, if you just focus on the very important ones, very often you're gonna see nice setups. You know, we, we waited for the press up into this level. After we broke up above here, first of all, we were expecting a strong move up. Once we got to here, we're expecting potentially strong rejection and it's came in once again. Now, what I would say coming into next week is the market has came down, it's basically tested out this slope and support level. Now it's tried to break through, it's tried to hold, it's failed, it's got back up above and we've had a strong press higher. Um, however, this whole area up here remains very key resistance. So all I'm gonna do is continue watching this zone right here as potential support and resistance. Um, let me just unselect this in case I drag it away by mistake. So this zone right here is still very nice support and resistance. It's a relatively large zone. So basically day to day, you're looking for the sort of intraday and support and resistance levels within this zone. Um, what I would say is that the market is still bearish. I don't want to start saying this market is bullish. You know, you see we've had Huge rejection, huge rejection after we broke down below these swings. Very strong move down. We have found a bit of support on a sloping support level. We've made a pullback, a very nice strong bullish pullback, but the market remains bearish. Um, however, coming into next week, we have got some clues that potentially the market is worthwhile looking at a little bit more neutral um, rather than simply looking for the, the bearish reactions. So what I'm going to do is with this zone here, I'm actually going to adjust it a little bit and most likely split it into two. Because we've got a level sitting at 115.75, really all the way up to 
take it up into right here, 11620. We're just starting to test at this level. Um, for me coming into next week, this is worthwhile watching as support. Yeah, it's a nice solid level. Basically we've had a test, we've broke down, a test, then we've broke up. So it's a very, very, um, I'd say sort of elongated potential head and shoulders. Testing here, yeah, nice retest of the previous swings. It's a good level to look for potential bullish bounces. Now up above there, we still have very key resistance. So we've got 116.62 to 116.40. Nice spikes down, one, two, three into this level. What I would say is if we're testing this level, it's worthwhile watching as resistance. But if we start getting up above here, then potentially we're looking at another bounce up into the previous highs. If we're getting up here again, it's very key resistance. And if we're breaking up above here, then yeah, it's worthwhile starting to watch for potential support. Now we've got the, the swing sitting just a little bit higher here, but really I'd expect to see us coming up into 117.90. To 118.20. Yeah, if we start breaking up above this level. And again, that would be a very nice level of potential resistance. So on Euro USD next week, um, overall the market is bearish. Short term, medium term, it's giving us mixed signals. So yeah, really nice support sitting at this level. If we start to press up, we've got a couple of resistance levels here, but if we're getting up above this level here, I'd expect to see an attempt to retest at these previous highs. Key resistance, if we break up above, yeah. Good support, starting to look for the moves up to 117.90 to 118.20, which again would become key resistance. Now, if we are breaking down below this level, um, this level right here also 115.60, 115.30, again is a good level of support. And if we're down below here, it's very good to watch as resistance because very clean move down, very clean move back up. It's not leaving a lot of structure down below there. We should see the market coming down to 114.85, 114.55, but I would expect to see once again, let's just get rid of these black lines, 114.45 to 114, uh, we're on about 20 tested. That's if we're getting down below this zone right here. So we'll extend this down into this level. Okay, that's everything for EURUSD for this week. Quite a few nice levels. Uh, let's move on to our last market, which is the NASDAQ. Okay guys, so for the NASDAQ now. So what we can see is this market has broken up from what we were looking at as the potential squeeze. So the squeeze potentially coming to an end, we came up, uh, and we just broke straight through. Yeah, we broke all the way up to new all-time highs. Um, there's there's no structure up here. There's no previous evidence. The only thing you can really look at um, are things like you know Fibonacci, Fibonacci extensions. You can start looking at round numbers up here. For me, I pretty much just stick to round numbers when we're getting up to all-time highs, and I'm just very very cautious. I'll just you know if we're all-time highs, most of the time I'll just not even look at the market. I'll just wait until the market starts to give um, starts to make pullbacks. Um, before I start looking to to place trades. Now, very strong move up. So next week, what are we looking at? Well, first of all, we can get rid of a lot of this. I'm all too aware that the, the charts, they can become pretty cluttered. And when you first turn them on, it can be a little bit difficult to sort of focus on things. I'll maybe clean this up a little bit before next week's video also. But main things now for me. Are, well, first of all, we've got a little bit of evidence up here that we're going to we're gonna go over. But if we're seeing pullbacks now to the sloping support levels, <clears throat> excuse me, worthwhile looking for potential bullish continuation. Okay, very, very strong move up on this market. Potentially we've broken up above. If we're seeing pullbacks, potentially we're pulling back to test at these levels before we see another wave. Even if we're not gonna see another wave up, um, it's likely there'll be bulls hanging around down here waiting for a pullback so they can get back in at a lower price on expectation of the market pressing higher. So really 7520, 7488 to 7476 to 7455. These are two 
very key levels of potential support on this market, even down below. At this level, I'd say 7440 to 7420 is a good level. So potentially, the slope and support levels, we've got one zone, two zone. If we're seeing them pull back all the way to our slope and support level, again, we'd be looking for potential support down there. We don't really know um, what's going to be lining up with the, the sloping support level because obviously it changes as the market moves day by day, you know, with what level it would be hitting on a pullback. But certainly worthwhile watching at this sloping support level. Longer term, we're looking for potential breaks of this level to signal stronger bearish um, price action in the NASDAQ. But at present, it's holding very bullish. Okay, so up above, what do we have? Well, first of all, all time highs, yeah, 7,690. What I would say with this one is, um, we're actually gonna make this into, let's have a look. Okay, we're testing at 7,690. Basically what we're doing is we're testing at 7,700, which is the round number. So we're just gonna make a zone 7,710 down to 7,690. Just a little bit below that all time high, 7,688. Potential support and resistance. Now it's the round number, Always worthwhile watching for potential reactions, but advice, you know, be cautious up at those levels. It's the all-time highs, very little evidence. 7677, all the way down to 7660. Again, up at the all-time highs, but with this one, what I would say, we've had a close, an open, a close, and a high. So for me, this level is giving more evidence. It's good to watch for resistance and also support as we get a little bit lower we come into the close and the open 7633 down to the spike down 7620 and what I would say with this one is we've now created a low uh, which hasn't been retested so if we get below this level first of all it's good support if we get below this level it's a good area for people who are holding longs to look to start taking profits. It would be the market starting to, for the first time in a long time, break lows, okay? Down below there, we come into our doji candle down here, 7588, down to 7570, right here. This is actually a pretty good level of potential support also. Certainly, if we're breaking down below this level, I would expect to see a pullback toward this doji candle. Um, now, really on the NASDAQ, those are the main areas I want to go over. Um, I don't want to start getting, or trying to guess um, levels of support and resistance. I'm not going to call any of these overly key, but I would say this one's giving a fair amount of evidence to watch as resistance and support. This one is giving um, evidence as potential support. And if we're breaking down below, it's opening up the move down to 7588 to 7570. And then this one I would say is relatively strong support. If we're breaking down below there, again, worthwhile looking for resistance, key level, key level. Um, also watching the sloping support level. Okay guys, so that is everything for this week. Just coming into September now. Wishing all of you guys a good month, profitable month. Um, as always, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you all have a good trading week ahead. I'm James Orr and thank you.